Rahul Dev, uh, has Mamta made a smart move or has she made uh, a, a, a move that is, some would argue, self-destructive politically, like is being described for the Congress party in its decision uh, to reject the Ram Mandir invite? Rahul Dev. It's clearly a reaction to BJP's uh, program for uh, and the government's program on 22nd January in the Ayodhya, clearly. Otherwise, uh, it would have been announced much earlier. It has been announced after she was invited. So clearly, it's an afterthought and uh, an effort to sort of rebut or give her own answer to the invite and uh, the, the consecration ceremony. Um, so there's there's no uh, it can't be hidden it can't be. Uh, but as a counter move, anything. is it a smart move? Do you think it's a smart move, or do you think it's an ill time uh, move? I don't know. I don't know who are the people who are impressed by such gestures. Uh, I I wonder. I mean, people in uh, West Bengal only can tell me whether uh, there will be any additional political mileage accruing to her because of this this yatra this march. Sarvadharma uh, Yatra. I, I really don't know because uh, these are, uh, you know, things that we have all seen umpteen number of times in uh, so many places. It is a political move. It is a political answer to a political quasi political quasi religious uh, provocation or occasion. Um, uh, I don't think personally that it will uh, add to her politically in a in a great way. It will it mm. just, it's a nice gesture, okay? I mean, it's good to talk about uh, communal harmony and uh, harmony between different sections and religions, but it doesn't really cut much ice these days with anyone. It doesn't yeah. affect or influence, impact people in uh, really where it matters. It's just so a political case, gesture. So the best case scenario, Lokna Chatterjee, is that it doesn't, uh, hurt Mamta Banerjee, uh, but Rahul Dev says it won't particularly help her either. What it does do is expose possibly the confusion within the opposition India alliance. See, I'll tell you, you know, now that uh, I'll, I'll steer clear of uh, the political debate possibly, but just to give you a background of where we stand in Bengal, in light of Mamta's, uh, you know, call for interfaith rally, you know, A, we need to keep in mind that the 9th November 2019 verdict was of the Honorable Supreme Court. Pursuant to Supreme Court directions, this uh, entire Ram Temple is being constructed. There is a trust formed by the government of India that is pursuant to directions of the Honorable Supreme Court of India. So this is being done in a manner and in the way in which the Honorable Supreme Court had directed. We'll also have to, uh, you know, Mamta has also said that uh, there apparently some skywalk at the Akshineshwar Temple is being uh, damaged by the railways for construction of metro line. So she'll protest against that. And in, in the same vein in which she mentioned about that interfaith rally, and we'll also have to keep in mind at the background scenario of Bengal, look at the law and order situation. Someone, you know, Rajeshiji mentioned about the CA. You remember the amount of public property which was damaged in Bengal and the uh, subsequent, uh, you know, attacks which happened pursuant to the declaration of the uh, citizenship amendment laws. Uh, so, and we know what happened in Bengal and what was the situation, the way the railway property and other government property, public property was damaged. Uh, and then she's making these calls. And when, you know, in the background, we've seen enforcement directorate officials getting attacked and the honorable court uh, looking aghast at Trinamool leaders not getting arrested, people who attacked uh, enforcement directorate officials in Sandesh Kali in Bengal. So this is ripe life happening here. We need to look at the background scenario, the law and order situation. What happens if in the name of this interfaith rally, uh, you know, uh, uh, passions get inflamed and people are there once again, uh, a communal conflagration happens. So you're, so you're Ooh, saying and it's Bingo, the wrong and, day. Yeah, and yeah, you know sorry. what, and it, I'm sorry, it will just also, you know, people have already accepted the verdict. It was all along, you know, people have acted according to it. Now, if you want to play politics with it, and looking at the law and order situation in Bengal, I'm sure West Bengal police and the police and government agencies in Bengal will be unable to attend to let, the law and order situation and let take me care take of that it. to doctor. Let me take that to Dr. Sen. Dr. Sen, the uh, most recent controversy over the enforcement directorate officials who came uh, un under violent attack, the suggestion uh, uh, being by at least two of our four panelists uh, to today uh, is that this could lead, it, it is a day of heightened sentimentalism across the country. Uh, it is the wrong day. It is the wrong day to have a parallel event. Any any sort of little thing could take things out of hand. Why take that chance? What would you say, Dr. Sen? 
I would answer this question in two parts. Number one, which reflects the state state law and order situation. It is reflected in the report given by National Crime Record Bureau. And this report is not prepared by Madam Mamta Banerjee or Trinamool Congress government. This is a central government report, which has been showing since last few years consecutively that West Bengal happens to be the safest state and law and order situation is far, far better in comparison to the other, other double engine BJP run governments. And Calcutta is, your, is the safest metropolitan city. This is the report of National Crime Record Bureau, number one. Number two, once again, I, I, I harp on the same string that mm. on the day of Babri Mark's demolition, Mamta Banerjee was there on the road with a message of communal harmony. Once again, I repeat. So the lady who carried the message of communal harmony on that dark day, on that black day, now she is on the road once again with the message of communal harmony. How can you expect that law and order situation will be? Then why, say, be, then why say it's not a counter? Way? Why say it's not a counter? It clearly is a political counter. Admit certainly it. not a counter. She certainly is not a counter. It's not a protest. But it has been protested. It has been countered. It has been criticized by none other than the preachers of Hindu religion, the our respected Sankara judges. You okay. or me, we don't need to criticize anymore. The entire process okay. has been created. One okay. second, one second, one second. If the temple is, is, is considered as a body and the idol is considered as a soul, if your body is not complete, how can you install the soul inside? I, it's, I, I it's, 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 it's a decision like Muhammad bin Tughlaq. It's a Tughlaq Raj run by Narendra Modi and Amit Shah Private Limited Company. Okay, those are strong, very personal words. I let the BJP spokesperson talk them up. Mr. Mr. Lahiri, go ahead. It was Mamuta Banerjee's word that the that the cow which can be milched, it is better to get kicked from them. And she wanted to mean about a particular section of the society. Now that Mamuta, now the Ram Temple is getting inaugurated at this juncture, Mamuta Banerjee had to beat her own doldrum, stating that I have spent 700 crores on some mandirs that she has been saying that she had been that Anukul Chandra Thakur had asked land from her. She had uh, created the Tarapit temple, which was created by Rani Bhavani. She built up Nive Sister Nivedita's house. She built up uh, Loknath Brahmachari's temple at Chakla. And she has been in this same press conference. She has stated all these things. I do not know how that's happened. Now, NCRB report that Dr. Sen was talking about, it is prepared by the data sent by the state to the center. And a recent RTI has already made it clear that the summation of the complaints received district-wise is not matching to that of the NCRB report. That is the data that was sent by the state to the center. Okay. And now I have a one strong uh, uh, objection it is not Babri Masjid, as Dr. Sen has stated. It is clearly stated by the Honorable Supreme Court. It is a disputed structure, not Babri Masjid. It was. It's not even a disputed structure anymore. Oh, the Supreme Court, yeah. the Supreme Court has had the final.